Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Dr. Defective's Mad Scientist Laboratory. Uh, we're going to start another build here. And this is going to be eventually, hopefully, uh, a nice looking receiver tank. Um, I see them online, some really old stuff. It's so cool looking. They, uh, you see them on the sides of boilers and uh, refrigeration units and things like that at times, but I'm going to try to build a little larger one here. Uh, I got the basic the basics here in front of us for the idea we start with a it's a two foot piece of three inch pipe a couple of caps for the ends this is our sight glass piece of three quarter acrylic or one inch acrylic I'm not sure some I picked up off of Amazon got a bunch of them and these here these are seal tight fittings uh, used in uh, for electrical uh, wiring and things like that but uh, I like the shape of them and I'm going to try to use them to hold the, the sight glass in place. So, I so said I'm not quite sure how how uh, intricate we're going to get with this one. I just wanted to get the basics together first and, uh, and start working from there. So, start sanding, cutting to size, and, and painting, and we'll see what happens next. So I'm trying something a little different here. Uh, I'm using these seal tight connectors. For, uh, the top and the bottom with the tube in between and I want to clean them up a bit but uh, I wanted to round it out a little bit more um, don't know how to explain it. I just thought it looked cooler if it was uh, less less sharp edges on it around there and wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do I didn't want to use up a whole bunch of epoxy trying to fill it in and shaping it so I'm gonna try something different here uh, pick this up just some modeling clay air dry just grasping at straws, see what happens. So I got some of this and uh, messed with it a little bit. So here's one of them, just so you can kind of see where where I'm going with this. Filled this all in, uh, let it dry a couple days. I'll sand this smooth and kind of, you know, I can shape it then a little bit. Uh, I've, I've already done one. It, it sands nice, real easy. Doesn't take too long. So. We're going to see how that works out as far as the finished thing. Now here's one just so you can see it. So this is what it looks like with a couple coats of paint just to try to blend it together. Um, it gives you an idea of what I'm trying to go for here. I might round this out a bit. I'm not sure yet, but <clears throat> just got to blend it in and kind of see a seam there. Not much down here, but what I'm going to try to do, I got a couple options. First thing I could hit it with some, you know, we hit it with the black and age it a bit and see if it uh, takes that line away, disappears. And if not, I can go back in and sand it down and feather it out some more. But uh, this is a trial and error process here. But I'm, I'm happy with the way it's looking so far. So we'll get another one done and uh, see if we can get this put together. All right, just thought I'd take a second here and show you what I got going on. Here's the the main body. These are the holes. Uh, that's gonna where the uh, seal tight fittings are gonna go to hold the uh, sight glass in the front. So I needed a straight line. Um, I'm not doing any rocket surgery, so it didn't have to be perfect, but you want it to look good. So the way I go about it is I just take a piece of tape, eyeball it at first, put it on, slide it down, and then what you do is you rotate. And you see if the the lines ev or, are even, and if you see one's crooked, then you adjust the tape accordingly. Uh, it's pretty cut dry, simple. Don't have to get any charts and graphs or sundials out to uh, to get it just right. But it looks good. I tested it, uh, dry fitted the things. They look good. So just wanted to to show that to you before we move on to the next piece. All right, see what kind of progress we got going here. Got both uh, my ends made up. Got my holes drilled. <clears throat> um, got some copper, quarter inch copper that I uh, wrapped around the clear tube. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with that yet. I just thought it was going to look cool, uh, but I don't know how it's going to be a part of the um, the display here. But we'll figure it out as we go. 
So uh, one of the things I needed to deal with is uh, light. I was gonna, I'm putting a light inside here, top and bottom. Uh, so obviously down here, this is gonna be submerged because I'm gonna have a water column coming up a little bit. Uh, one thing I came up with here is just took one of my 12 volt uh, DC uh, white light bulbs and a piece of 3 8 inch vinyl tubing. I ran it through and then just filled this sucker up with some clear silicone. Pushed the, the bulb down in a bit and, and sealed up around there because this is plastic. That should be fine. I got it filled with silicone up to here and squeezed through a bit. We're going to find out, you know, the hard way whether or how long it's going to work. I'm sure it'll work at least once. Nope. So got that done. That'll, that'll slide inside here and uh, be hidden down inside this. So what do we got to do now? We got to get these mounted into place. I'm probably going to use some of that clay that I used here and do the same thing around here and give it that kind of uh, edge. And then um, just silicone the crap out of it down there. Uh, I got to silicone the bottom of this around here so there's no leaking. Uh, and then, once we get that all mounted up and good to go, we can uh, take this down. This will get this will get filled with silicone and be sealed. Painting. And then when it's all said and done, I got to try to uh, figure out how I'm mounting this sucker to the wall. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now. Just showing you where we're at, so I'll get working on it a bit, and then uh, I'll show you the progress here in a little while. Yeah, I'm gonna work on the uh, the ends here real quick. Put some uh, rivets on. These here, are the this here's made out of smooth cast. I made a mold, like six or eight of them, one in there, so I can make six or eight at a time keep them around always handy you never know so uh first thing that i do with these when i when i get ready figure out how many i want to put around and go on the uh, line and find me a pie chart six eight ten pieces and i'll slap this here in the center and then just uh mark off oh it gives me a little consistency and then i have to you know think about it too much and just follow the follow the lines there do that get my knife scrape up the the paint real good scrape the bottom of these up real good and uh just use some super glue and put them on <clears throat> and it works out good i'll paint it all up yeah uh, i don't know i don't know why i dig these putting little rivet stuff on everything but I just love the way it looks, so I keep doing it. All right, boys and girls. Uh, I thought it's been it's been probably three, four weeks since the previous clip, since I made the previous clip, and I'm not quite sure where I was. I haven't had a chance to to check it out, but. Uh, I think the last thing I had uh, recorded was I was working on these here. Had clay down here, was smoothing it out, blending these two pieces together with uh, just layering it with paint and fine sandpaper. So the story behind that is I got it all done, top and bottom. They were looking beautiful. Looked like one solid piece from here to here. I was all happy. Picked this up, set it down, walked away, knocked it over. And of course, cracked the whole way around, top and bottom. It's about a week's worth of, worth of work gone. So, after I shed my tears, I summoned my inner Bob Ross decided uh I had a choice of either trying to just redo it again or or give this a shot so what i did was uh just took some two-part epoxy 
filled in the cracks, layered it. Hoping, my goal here is when it's all said and done, it looks like this piece is welded on here now instead of smoothed out. So that's my goal. That's how I fix that little problem. I'm not sure if I had the, these on here yet. This is just, I'll, I'll have all this peeled off here shortly. Some quarter inch copper I wrapped around the top and the bottom. This side over here is going to attach to the to the body of this. This side of the copper, I'm going to extend it into uh, some other parts of the lab so it becomes part of the lab and feeds off of something else. So that's where I'm at now. Peel all this off. Get this other side attached over here. I got uh, the wiring is is. 90% done inside. There's just a light, an LED down the bottom, an LED up here, ran it through some vinyl tubing with some silicone in there to keep it from getting wet. It's got to put the, uh, the aquarium pump in here, top and bottom, and uh, move on to the next stage. So, wish me luck. Yeah, hope I don't drop it again. All right, here we go, people. <clears throat> this is where the rubber meets the road. And there she is so far. So, I got a whole tube of schmutz down in there, silicone, all on the inside of this and the outside of that, squeezed together. Got my uh, rivets on, got to paint them yet. Can't show down inside of it down through the top here we have our submersible uh, pond pump smallest one I could find laying down there uh, what I did earlier today was <clears throat> fill it up with water to about here so it's filled both sides there um, just to see if she held and she did so the first obstacle has been uh, overcome next thing is to make sure it works to make sure I left enough uh, gap inside the opening down there because I have a, a piece of vinyl tubing with the lights down at the bottom. I want to make sure the water is going to flow back fast enough and that the pump is going to uh, pump fast enough and that the lights are all going to work. So here we are. Ready to plug it in. I got my OSHA approved wiring going on here got sugar hill gang playing in the background so we should be good to go all right we're plugging her in So the water's flowing and it looks like we have lights coming in from the top and from the bottom. Wasn't sure how fast the flow would be. I was messing with the pump earlier outside of this and uh, it seemed like I had it on low. It, it didn't have the uh, uh, the ability to, to pump it up very high. So there's, I don't know, a foot and a half height on this. So I, I put it on high just to make sure and uh, it's not bad, it's flowing, it's along the back. It, it's, um, of course I got it leaning too, so that's very possible when I straighten it up, which is not, I mean, I have absolutely no issues with the way it's working right now. If I could make it flow and spread out a little more, the sprout, but you know, I'm quite happy with the way it is now. I'll throw a little red dye in there I wasn't expecting the, the bubbles. The bubbles are just from the the water pressure dropping down in there. So that nice little bonus. Ah, so yeah, all right, we are good to go. Now I can finish the top piece. 
I can paint everything up and do all the fun little details. Now all the all the the neat little stuff you get to do when when the big stuff is done. So all right, we'll call it rock and roll. And I'll be back in a little while, guys. Thanks. We'll see you soon. All right, we're moving on to phase two, which is figuring out where we're going to put it and how we're going to put it, where we're going to put it. There's the corner. And I'm thinking... Right in this area. I don't know if I'm going to, or up in that area. So I know it fits. I held it there. Now it's just figuring out how to get it it's to stay there, get some piping off of it to the wall. My wiring, <clears throat> I run that up behind that beam, across and over, and into my panel over here. But first things first, we get the the uh, sight glass in here, size it up, try to get some PVC cut and uh, mounted with it. Uh, looking good on all how heavy it's going to be with water in it, and I hope it doesn't uh, put too much strain on the on the PVC pipe I'm using, and that you know, there won't be any lagging or drooping down, make it look rough. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Here we are. Finally got this this puppy finished, <clears throat> put together. And, uh, I'm so bad about this. I not sure how long ago I recorded my last little bit for this. How much was done? How much I talked about? So we're going to kind of go over it a little bit. Um, so this is the main piece right here. We got the two pieces of copper there. I just ran them out, added some to both of them. So that, the other one's in the back a little bit. And they come up here and they uh, connect in with this uh, heat exchanger in the back there. So I got these two pipes right here. These are just what mount this to the wall. Um, I don't know how much I can get back here. Nope. Yeah, it's not focusing. Maybe there's the top mount. And I actually have a little rubber grommet and a screw going from the, the wall into the, the piece here to give it a little more strength. And then down here, I just have a PVC uh, P trap. And all this on the wall, this is a, everything's pretty much PVC. This whole piece, the only thing that's not is my quarter inch copper. So those are the pipes. It fills up the wall a little bit more. <clears throat> this here is my power to the pump. This here is the 12 volt to the the lighting. That. I was uh, a little worried about because I've got this piece here and I didn't want to bring wires out and things in front of it. I wanted it to run along the wall, but I've got my, my belt right there. But luckily, a piece of half inch copper, I was able to run all the wiring up in the back and come down here and run it through. It comes over here and into my panel. I'm not about to open that door up for you and let you see that rat nest in there because that was one of the first things I did before I started getting a little cleaner with my work. And it's rough looking in there, but uh, there's where my wiring is, 12 volt and 120 volt going through there, up and into here. So I'll leave the light on at first, just real quick, here's my 12 volt brings it on. Oh, I forgot to mention that. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I did run some blue LEDs behind it. 
I wasn't sure how it was going to look, but I'm really happy with that. A little red dye in there. Turn the pump on. That's what I'm looking for. That kind of that kind of drip right there, that drain and the, uh, the bubbles there, just a, an added bonus there. Uh, that's the goal I was going for. A little too dark, obviously, but let you see uh, how the lighting works on her. So there she is, finally done. Another nice filler piece alongside there. Everything works, nobody got hurt badly. So it was a good day. All right, I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, feel free to comment anytime. I'm on Facebook and Instagram as Dr. Defective if you wanna see anything else. I uh, love to talk shop, so until next time, we'll see ya.